What is going on, everybody? Here and a welcome to Above Snakes. Above Snakes. Kind of an interesting title, but I can deal with it. I can deal with it. So we are taking a look at Above Snakes. It is a um, crafting, building, survival, tile-based game. I don't know. We're gonna hop in. Hopefully, you guys enjoy. If you do, like, subscribe, all the fun things. Um, leaving a like on the video helps out a lot. Subscribing helps out a lot. Hitting the bell icon to be notified also helps out a lot. So um, I will have a link down below to the Steam store page. This game is not out yet. The only way to access it, I believe, is through the Kickstarter. So the store, the Steam store page has a link to that. So if you want to check that out. Okay. So uh, use last second on your controller or, or WASD. And I'm going to guess uh, hold to hit a berry bush. Uh, can I hit the berry bush? Yes. Okay. We are hitting a berry bush. Can we zoom in? Oh, we can zoom in. All right. So we got thimble berries to satisfy hunger, open your inventory and eat some berries. Okay, inventory is tab. Thank you. Backpack. Did I not get the thimble berries? Oh, food and drink. Okay, so it's not like just everything. Um, so eat. Oh, delicious. So these must be my stats right there. Okay, so we've got what? Water, hunger, sleep, and is that like fatigue or something oh sanity it's sanity okay now it's time to create some tools hit a tree together some twigs hold to hit a tree walk over the sticks to fall on the ground okay smack that tree with a stick we need more twigs come on twigs okay we got some twigs do we have enough twigs we have three so what's kind of interesting about this game is that we can eventually start picking tiles to expand out which is actually kind of cool um, okay, open your inventory, select the crafting menu tab. Crafting. Uh, what do I need for this? Three twigs! Uh, make an axe. Uh, hold, okay. Oh my gosh, we've got an axe. Now, we probably need to put it into our toolbar, right? Uh, one through four, add to toolbar. So let's go ahead and just add that to one. Grab that. Now, oh, now we can chop down a tree and gather logs! Come on, tree. You're mine. Okay, now does it automatically turn to logs? Oh, it kind of did. It did. Oh, oh, holy moly. Oh, we also got some stone out of that. Some rocks. Very nice. Now craft a pickaxe from twigs and logs. Crafting pickaxe. All right, and then let's look at our backpack tools. Go ahead and put that on number two. And then I'm going to guess that we can probably select number two and hit this guy. Now it's time to explore the world around you. Move to the northern edge of the tile. Make sure that you have at least two logs and one rock. Pay attention to exploration costs. Okay. Um, I don't know. Can I harvest this bush with this? Sure can. We need more thimble berries. And let's grab some more logs too. So I'm actually kind of curious, like, why it's called Above Snakes. <laughs> I really don't like snakes. I, I don't like... Do you like snakes? Leave a comment down below. I honestly... I hate... I don't, I don't like snakes at all. They're they're not. Mm -mm. No, thank you. All right. So explore world. T to explore world. So we need two logs, one rock. And then we could pick pine forest, pine forest, or pine forest. But then you can see right here, there's different resources available. So water sources, food sources, crafting materials, loot... Food sources, crafting materials, food source. So this one is obviously the best one out of the bunch. And now we have a new tile. Oh, this is super cool. I like this. Looks like a great place to build a cabin for shelter. To build your cabin, you first need to craft a workbench from logs and plant fibers. Uh, cut dried plants with your axe to get plant fibers. Open your crafting menu, craft a workbench. Okay. Um, are these dried plants? These kind of look like dried plants. Yeah, they are. What kind of berries are those? Huckleberries! Oh, look at that. We got huckleberries. Will you be my huckleberry? <laughs> okay, so we've got that. Um, do I have crafting workbench? I do have everything we need. All right, so now if we go to five. Oh, hold on. Actually, let's walk around. I want to see what we got here. So this is going to be an excellent area to craft and build. So let's kind of put this maybe right there. Hold to craft. Great, now gather six logs and use the workbench to upgrade it to tier one. Okay. So I'm actually kind of curious, what is the point of having a regular workbench if it's not tier one, you know? <laughs> like we crafted it, but it's like, ah, it's still not good enough. So let's just do another six logs. 
We got a pine cone. An imaginary, a magical pine cone. It looks like a lava rock. All right, so now we can craft upgrade. All right, so now you can now begin to build your base. Craft as many foundations as you like at your workbench. Place them to start the uh, building of your cabin. So, building parts, crafting requirements, one log for a foundation. Okay, so uh, I've always known every single game we ever play, you make a bigger base than you ever plan to need. Because <laughs> you always have to expand it later. See, I'm going to hit this log so that way it falls this way onto the stone and the other tree. And maybe, ah, uh, yes, we get some free resources. I love it when games have the mechanic of, like, the falling uh, stuff doing damage to other stuff. It's just so much fun. Because then it's like you can you tactfully, tactilely, tactically, tactically choose what you want to fall where. It's like, oh, I want that rock anyways. So now I have it. Ha ha ha. I might be losing resources by doing that. I, I honestly don't know. Um, but like this one, let's see how many trees we can get with one. Actually, let's move this way. So that will hopefully knock out that tree. Oh my goodness. Timber! Okay, so how many logs do we have here? We've got 11 logs. So let's go ahead and build a, I don't know. We'll build a nice little, a nice little shape here. All right, let's start with seven. So let's do one there. Maybe something like this. Okay, so there's that. Let's go ahead and get like what one. Let's get three more. Perfect. Okay, so there's our house. Look at that. Oh, it's amazing. So now we probably need to put walls on it. Uh, you can craft walls, windows, and doorways at your workbench and place them on the edge of the foundation. Okay, so I'm going to need. Oh my gosh, I'm going to need a lot of stuff here. We're going to see how many trees I can take out with this one. This is the real game here. How many trees? Oh, I missed both of them. Darn it. Come on, get it, get it, get it. Oh, darn it. Okay, let's get some walls and some doors and stuff in here. So I'm thinking two doors would be nice. Um, So let's go ahead and craft two of these. And then a couple windows. All right, let's see how these look. So let's go ahead and put a door here. Maybe a door there. And then let's get some windows in here. So maybe like, I don't know, one there, 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 and here. Yeah, that looks good. And then we'll just get regular walls for the rest of them. So we need what? Seven more walls? We can do that. Okay, so seven more walls. Oh, that was one off. One more wall. Perfect. To finish your cabin, you can place roofs uh, and add on top of them of your build. Okay, so a roof. So, oh my gosh, these are two logs. Oh. That's going to be expensive. All right, let's go grab a bunch of logs. Okay, I maxed out my log carrying capacity, so I don't know how many logs we're at, but I know we're going to need what? Um, two, three. So this is a three by two. So six, seven, eight, nine. Do we need 10? Is it 10 roofs? We might be able to. Oh, yeah, we can do 10 roofs right now if we need to. But let's get a couple in here and just see how they go. All right. So if I put this on here. Run that this way. I need one, two, three, four, five more. Perfect. You should furnish your cabin with a, a, at least a bed so you can rest. Furniture and workstations usually use blueprint to make. You'll find blueprints on your journey. Okay, I need one more. I need one more of these, but it keeps kicking me out of here for some reason. I think it's because it really doesn't want me doing this anymore. <laughs> uh... But we're good. We're good. Okay. So now we need to craft a bed at the workbench here. So furniture, bed. 
All right, and let's pop into here. And let's place a bed down. Perfect, and then hold rest. Oh, wonderful. You're now ready to start your journey and explore the world. Uh, you have a map which will help your quest points of interest marked with exclamation point or, or question mark M to open the map. Oh my gosh, can you seriously? Oh, you can see the tiles that are different too. So like these must be forest tiles. These must be like a deserty. This is maybe like a rocky mountainy kind of thing. Interesting, that's cool. I like that, I like that. Um, let's eat some berries here. All right, so we're good. So our quest is in this part right here. So maybe we should go over here and see what we need. Um, T to explore, two logs, one rock. Survivors camp level one. Apparently not everybody died in Corpse Creek. Okay, so we didn't have a choice with that one, but. Oh look, there's people. We got Greg and Sam Brown. Hello. Oh, you have a quest. Hmm. New quest available. Lost provisions. We've been here for days. Can't uh can't go home. This fire and a handful of provisions are all that stand between us and the grave. During our escape from Corpse Creek, Corpse Creek, we lost most of our provisions to the lost souls when they attacked us. Please help us get those provisions back. Find the cart with the provisions. Hmm. Do I need to talk to you? We can set up camp after we flip. Okay. So does it say where to go for this? Oh, so we need to go over here to get that. Okay. But now we have access to all these trees and stuff right here. Very nice. Now, crafting stuff. Can I craft other things? Make a bonfire. Smelter, iron ore, anvil. Oh, so if we handcraft, if we have a smelter, an anvil, a tannery, or a fletching table. So a smelter would be nice. Um, a large fire which provides heat and light can be created everywhere. It will not stay forever, though. I wonder how we unlock those. Are there things to... Oh, search. Feather. Flint. I mean, we're stealing from these guys, but they don't need it. I'm about to help them survive anyways. Clay. Rocks. Okay, so how do we unlock these? Like, I want to unlock the smelter and then the anvil because I, I mean, pickaxes and better axes and stuff. Of course, that's always a thing to do. But I'm not sure how we're gonna do that. So it looks like we need to make our way over to the other area. So water's kind of an issue right now for me. Um, so I mean, berries are supplying a little bit of water. Not a lot though. So I'm thinking maybe we need to expand out and get over here as quick as we can. Um, T to explore. Okay. Ooh, farmland. Oh, we need a farmland. Oh, look at that. There's like things here. Oh, there's zombies. Uh. I can't hit these guys? Maybe not. It looks like we can get wheat. I, mean, I guess they're slow enough. Oh, is that like fiber or hemp right there? Pumpkin, okay. What's in here? Oh. Look at all this stuff. Can we break these? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Another pumpkin over here. Oh, this is awesome. So what is this? Is this like a fiber? Uh, rope? Okay. And then here's a well. Hold to fill up one. Filled up bottle. Okay. Um. Let's drink that. Oh, yes. Perfect. Can I fill it up again? No, it looks like I might have a cooldown on it. All right, let's search all these things. I'm trying to figure out how to get an anvil or something here. We have a lot of wheat. I wonder if we can have like some kind of bakery or something. I feel like we should harvest all this wheat. 
Oh, did I search this one? I didn't search this one. Oh, what is that? Snake oil tonic. Okay. So the mission is right here now. So let's see how much the requirements for this are. Logs. Okay, let's grab some more logs. Maybe if I complete the mission, they'll give me like a a blueprint for the a thing. Like an anvil or a I cannot carry any more of this in my backpack. Okay. Hi Prairie. Might the provisions of the survivors be lost somewhere here? Maybe. We're about to find out. What is this? Oh, pluck. Cotton. Oh, nice. Wild mint. A vanilla flower. Uh, can we not get in here? Okay, we're in. Cart. These are the provisions that the survivors lost. I should return them to them. Okay. Um, it is also getting dark. So let's go return these and let's see what they give us for it. This is super neat. I really like this. I really like this. All right, complete the quest. I think heavens should be enough to keep us going for another couple of months at least. Um, I hope we can go back to Corpse Creek someday. Yeah. Hmm. We set up camp after we flood our homes. Um, do you want me to light this for you guys? There you go. Uh, do I have anything to cook? Make flour, bake it, crafting requirements. Oh. Oh, we can. So the campfire, we can make flour into, or wheat into flour. Cook bread, cook pumpkin bread. Pumpkin bread, so tasty, so fancy. Oh, wow, that fire does not last very long, does it? Do I not have a log? I don't think I have a log. Ha! Oh, look at that. It was a two-for-one. I love two-for-ones. I wonder if we can plant the pine cones. All right, come on. Um, I want to do pumpkin bread. Because I bet you pumpkin bread's better. And then what we got? Um, oh, a huckleberry tart. Cooked apple pie. Let's get a huckleberry tart in here. What is this mint tea? Let's just get, um, can I do anything else? Cook wound powder. Okay. Oh, perfect. Look at that. We got stuff done. All right. So let's go ahead and let's go sleep. Did we get anything else unlocked? Handmade fireplace, backpack, resources, crafting. Don't see anything else. Furniture, miscellaneous. What does this do? Just a pine cone. There's millions of them around. Seems kind of worthless. Common miscellaneous item. Wonderful. Those guys over there living in tents, and I have like a full on building over here. It's so nice. Awesome. Wonderful new morning. Okay, so let's eat a pumpkin bread. Oh, wow. That pumpkin bread gave us a lot of stuff. Uh, do I eat another one? No, let's not eat another one right now. Let me grab. Oh, we have. I didn't realize we had a roll. Backpack, food and water. Um, let's drink that. Do I have a regular type of food? Plus ten. How much do I have? So like plus ten. Is that a lot? Not really. That's plus forty. That's plus forty five. That's plus 27. Wow. Awesome. Okay, do we have any quests anywhere else? Oh, there's, there's a quest here. Let's see if we can hit that one up real quick. I want to try to get some uh, some things unlocked here. We're going to hit it this way so it breaks that rock too. And maybe those huckleberries. I had no idea that this was a zombie game. Like, that's fantastic. Okay, so it's right here. Uh, log rocks. Let's go ahead and explore this world. Uh, the lonely cabin. A mysterious cabin in the woods. Far away from civilization. Who could be the owner that chose such a lonely life? Um, my cabin is like the same exact thing. Got a new quest in here. Oh, I like how they decorated this. Let's search everything. 
Got rocks. Ooh, iron ore. Hello. Uh, hello there. I'm very pleased to meet with you, Stark. This is my home. The woods were such a nice, safe place before the lost souls began roaming around here. Such a shame. Luckily for me, I didn't live in Corpse Creek. I've heard dreadful things about that night. I so I so worried about some of the folks there, though. Say, so could you do me a favor? I'll explain a little. Find the skull of a dead animal in a pine forest. Okay. Um, can I search your crates? Don't mind me. Can I search your these? I'm just like robbing this dude blind. We don't even care. Okay, so where's this mission at? Oh, just anywhere. Find the skull of a dead animal in a pine forest. So I need to find the skull of a dead animal in a pine forest. Now, does that mean we have to kill said animal? You know what? I'm going to expand out this way. Do I have the stuff for it, though? I do. Um. Oh, tracks. What? Oh, <gasps> it's a train. Oh, I love trains. <laughs> Got some hide over here. Got some coal. Oh, very nice. Oh, is that water? Cold to fill up our water bottle. Wonderful. Um, Cold to search. Cotton. We got cotton out of the entire thing. There was cotton in there. What is this? Did I seriously harvest this? What? No way. I want to get in it. Oh. There was a thing there. What kind of trees are these? So what is that? Plant fibers and just logs. Hmm. Alrighty then. This is pretty cool. I kinda wish I could craft some furniture though, or something. Oh, you know what I even, I didn't even think about checking the workbench. Furniture, oh my gosh. Okay, so we've got a smelter. We've got an anvil. Um, I need one clay, and then we need some iron. Okay, oh my gosh, I didn't even realize. Huh, I don't know why I completely forgot about that place. But I need a clay. Let's see, let's grab, maybe, maybe we'll get some clay out of one of these. Well, let's expand our world again. Prairie, water sources, food sources, crafting materials. Pine forest level one, pine forest level one, a prairie. I think the prairie might have a better source of clay. Ooh, food source to crafting materials really high here, but I think we might, uh, let's go with this one. Let's check this one out. Maybe we'll find some clay here. Okay, I could have been completely wrong. <laughs> <laughs> like no clay here. There's a lot of plants though. What's this thing right here? This thing right here might give us clay. So we got some tobacco leaves, some cotton. Um, what else do we get here? What mint? We got some mint as well. Not seeing any clay though, and it is getting dark. So let's go sleep. I wonder if one of those is clay. Are you clay by any chance? Pretty sure these are all stone. I think the only clay I've gotten was from searching like chests. Yeah, I think so. Um, so actually, I noticed on the map this area right here is starting to get different. So I kind of want to expand out over there and see what's going on. If it looks like a mountainous area or something, maybe clay. So I need a log. <laughs> Luckily, there's logs everywhere. Okay, so let's see. Explore the world. Oh, mountains! Pine forest level 2. Mountain crafting materials, crafting materials. So let's go with this one. This one has max crafting materials. Clay. Do you have clay over here? Oh, we've got iron. That is, like, for sure iron. Uh, let's switch our pickaxe here. Flint and rock. No clay. 
So there is another biome type right here too, I think. I think it's different. I kind of want to go look over there. I also need more water. Can I go to this one again? Oh, good. So it looks like there's like maybe a day timer, a day or two timer. Oh, we need glass. Huh. Okay. So I'm needing glass for quite a few spots now. Um, this one just needs rocks. Let's let's just expand out this way. Uh, oh, tracks level two graveyard. Hmm. Graveyard, food sources, crafting materials, and loot. Let's go with the loot. Maybe I can get a clay here. <gasps> I did get a clay. Oh my gosh, we got a clay. Okay. We can make our forge now. And then we can go back and grab the iron. And then we can go grab um, our anvil. And then I actually didn't even look to see if there was... Was there a storage option in here? Furniture. So let's craft this guy. And then blueprint iron ingot. Blueprint log. Simple table. Simple chair. Nothing amazing. Let's go put that in our house. Let's just stick it right here in the corner. Boom. One. Oh, do I have any iron ore? Hold on. I probably should make sure I have iron ore. Okay, I have some iron ore. Let's go grab more. And then I need to eat some food. Let's grab some more iron before we start this up. Okay, so now that we got our iron, now we go ahead and we'll light this. Looks like we needed that three coal to light it. Okay, and then smelt. Make iron. Okay, so there's all of that. And then we can make a bunch of glass out of stone. Might as well, because we got stone everywhere. Alright, that looks like about all we can do right now. Can we get an anvil now? How much do we need for... Aha! We got an anvil. Okay, so now let's go place this down. Put that right next to it. And then forge. So, what would I want? Do we want an axe or a pickaxe? Well, pickaxe, we could get more iron if we get more iron. You know what I'm saying? Um, but wood, it seems like we're chopping wood down more than anything. Let's do the axe. We'll make an axe. Why not? Perfect. And we'll set this as number one. Oh, look at that. We are doing the things here. I gotta say, I like this. I like this. But that is gonna end this episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. This again is above snakes. And it is a survivalness, survivally builder tile unlocking kind of game it's pretty cool i gotta say it's pretty neat i'm having a good time uh leave a comment down below let me know what you think and let me know what you think about snakes i'm not a big fan not a big fan but yeah um i think we'll continue this because this is kind of cool i like it i like it i want to see how much we can build i want to see how far we can go uh it looks like the map is huge like it looks like there's tiles everywhere so um yeah we'll have to see but yeah thanks again for coming out have a wonderful day like subscribe all the fun things and i'll see you in the next one